Thunder roared through the streets of Raleigh today to honor the service and memory of those who gave their life for our country. Anthony Wilson has more on this special rolling tribute. That's the sound of rolling thunder, North Carolina Chapter 4. Members hope you'll hear the exhaust and think about Bradley Beard. Inspired by the 9-11 attacks, he left his engineering studies at NC State and enlisted in the military. Then Beard died serving his country. He kept volunteering to go out and do recon, and unfortunately, on October 14th in 2004, uh, an IED exploded, and uh, he took shrapnel to the head and uh, was pronounced uh, dead in Baghdad Hospital three hours later. Their greatest fear was that their son would be forgotten. We made a commitment to them that as Roland Thunder, we would never forget, but more importantly, as America, we would never forget. The first Bradley S. Beard Memorial Run honors the fallen warrior while raising money for the Tragedy Assistance Program for Survivors, or TAPS. Rolling Thunder is the same organization that protects military families at funerals when members of a church based out of Kansas show up to protest. That church has a case going through the Supreme Court right now. At Brad's funeral, that idiot organization was not around. Had they been, I might be in jail today. <laughs> Instead, he appreciates all that Rolling Thunder's done for families who've lost loved ones to war. They like for us to rev up our engines. It drowns out the distractions, and they can carry on. So we do that to honor those, those fallen warriors as well. No distractions here today. Just patriotic people, dressed mostly in black, paying tribute to a young man and his family who made the ultimate sacrifice. On Saunders Street in Raleigh, Anthony Wilson, ABC 11, Eyewitness News. Wow, what a touching sight.